Welcome back to the channel guys, I am the Drunken Goth and today we are finally going to get the rear suspension all finished off. So we're going to get those wishbones, uh, new bushes put into those wishbones, get them all back onto the car, get everything set up and uh, hopefully get it back down on its wheels. So we've just got back from the powder coaters, got these wishbones back and that roll bar all looking good as new. So, let's get some bushes in them. So, as you can see, we are all lined up with the new bushes, new bushes from Superformance, the bush kit. And getting these bushes in, we're basically going to be repeating the same process that we used to get them out. Obviously, uh, no blow torch or anything involved, um, just the, the bush fitting kit, the sleeve kit that you can see just down in front of me. Uh, they do go in a lot easier than the old ones come out. Obviously, the old ones had been in for a, a considerable amount of time, uh, as well as being tack welded into place, which we will do. We will do on these as well. But a uh, relatively simple process, as you can see, they do tend to go in quite easily. So uh, not too much stress on this. We'll get all those, uh, get all those bushes in uh, and then get these wishbones finished off, ready to go back onto the car. So just going to jump in at this point and say that the bushes that we're using, the new bushes that we're currently pushing back in, are a standard straight replacement for the originals. Now there are a lot of different options you can go for if you wanted to go for stiffer bushings or some more solid bushings. We have done the more solid bushings on the GT4 race cars we've done in the past. But with this, we've gone for just a standard straight replacement as original. Now the reason we've done that is because this car is still relatively low mileage and I didn't want to alter it to the point where it wasn't how a GT4 was supposed to be. So that's why we've gone for a standard straight replacement. So just to show you here as well, while those wishbones were away being powder coated, we did clean up the uprights fully. So got all the muck off it, got all the crap out of the way, gave them a nice good coating of paint, greased everything up, and as you can see, they do look they do look lovely. Obviously, prime the bells of the discs so that they look as good as new. Nothing wrong with the discs; they didn't need replacing. Uh, cleaned up the calipers as well as best we could, and as you can see everything looks a lot better so when them wishbones are on it should look good as new. So I'm not going to waste any time and get these wishbones straight back on. So while it's not a particularly exciting process to watch it's, it's a fairly standard uh, opposite of the stripped down video we did, uh, just putting everything back together. Now, obviously because everything is now very clean and everything is brand new, everything goes back together a lot easier. So as you can see, we're not really having to, to force anything too much. Everything kind of slots in as it should. And of course, we're going for new nuts, new bolts, new washers where we can and where we can't where there's specific bolts with specific lengths of plain shank, etc. Basically, we've given them a very good clean up 
on the wire wheel. Then use the thread chasers to make sure all the threads are in good condition. And basically just working through it, getting everything looking as, uh, as nice and as new as possible. And as you can see, as we're, we're sort of rowing into it now, it's, it's made a hell of a difference to the car. And for all intent and purpose, the, the rear end suspension now will be as good as new, will look as good as new, and would pass any sort of class each inspections that uh, you wanted to put it through. And, and, and this is, you know, it's just something that's well worth doing to these cars because it's, the cars are a work of art. So it should be treated as such, it should be kept as such, and it should be in the best condition possible. I love these cars, and when you see them in these conditions where everything looks shiny, brand new, it makes a world of difference to the car. And as long as it's looked after properly as well, there's no reason why it can't go on looking like this far into the future. So now we've got those bottom wishbones back on, all in place, all bolted up. We're moving on to the roll bar at this point. Now again, we've got brand new bushes in the drop links. We've got brand new roll bar bushes that you can just see me uh, moving onto the onto the roll bar itself right now. And uh, very very simple process again. Literally just bolts on with the uh, the two clamps at the back. We are going to be using new nuts and washers again and we've also gone for new clamps to hold the bushes onto the car as well and the main reason i've done it with this rather than just trying to clean up the old ones is because one they're relatively cheap so it, it's it's not a major stress or a major expense uh, to get to, to get these new new clamps for the roll bar uh, but number two is that you can see the roll bar quite prominently from the back of the car as you're stood looking around the car so we want this to look as nice and shiny as possible because as I say the way it sort of drops down as you pull up to the car in traffic or something like that you look at the back of the car everything like this is very prominent very very obvious stands out quite a lot because it's very very visible from the back so that's why we've gone down this route and of course you know we want this car to to look exactly as it should be as, as good as it possibly can be, as nice as it possibly can be, because it's a Ferrari, it should be. It should be well looked after, it should be admired, and it should look as beautiful as possible. So, as you can see, that is the suspension on this side, all back together. Fresh bushes, fresh nuts, looking pretty good. So anything left is just to get them drop links on on that roll bar. Well, that is it for today's video, guys. Uh, obviously, all the rear suspension now done, so we're very, very close now to, uh, to getting this car, getting this car all finished. If you like the video, please drop a like on it. Please subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you all in the next one.